A reading from the second epistle to the Corinthians. I willingly boast of my weakness, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I am content with weakness, with mistreatment, with distress, with persecutions and difficulties for the sake of Christ. For when I am powerless, it is then that I am strong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The paradox of our Christian faith knows no end, for God is full of mystery, and he has used his own creation to bring about our salvation. Almighty God has taken the scorn of the cross, and he has turned it into the tool of our salvation. For upon the cross, Christ stretched forth his arms, and he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. My dear friends, we are truly strongest when we are at our weakest. For when we are weak, we place ourselves into the hands of our Lord and Savior. How many times have you come up against an obstacle in life? What did you do? You prayed. You threw yourself on the mercy of God and the intercession of all the saints. You had faith and hope that God would bring about the miracle you need. Well, my dear friends, we should not wait for the most difficult times in life to throw ourselves on God's mercy. No, each and every day we should wake up and say, God, I am weak, but you are strong. Grant to me your power and grace. For my dear friends, each time that we humble ourselves and give ourselves over to Almighty God, we can be assured that we will be strengthened, we will be comforted, we will be equipped for the journey of this life. No one enjoys difficult times, but dear friends, we serve a God that works all things together for good. We serve a God of the miraculous, a God of the impossible. And so when life's difficulties or persecution or hatred comes our way, let us not rage with anger. Let us not curl up into a corner and cease to exist, but rather let us recognize that yes, we are weak, we are human, but Almighty God has died on the cross for us, and he has sent the Holy Spirit to take up residence in us. And therefore, Christ in us is strong, and we are equipped to do the work that we are called to do. So, dear friends, I encourage you, boast of your weakness. Do not fear your weakness. Do not hide your weakness. But rather, let our Lord Jesus reveal himself through your weakness and bring to you strength and endurance. For the journey which we are on. For my dear friends, if we will remain faithful to God, then we will reveal to those around us the sacrifice of the cross, and all people will be given the opportunity to come to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. In our weakness, God is strong. Amen. At daybreak, be merciful to me. At daybreak, be merciful to me. Make known to me the path that I must walk, and give to me your strength in the midst of weakness. At daybreak, be merciful to me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. At daybreak, be merciful to me. 
Lord Jesus, you know and understand our human weakness. You walked in our flesh upon this earth in order that you may offer salvation to each of us. Help us, Lord, when we are weak, to throw ourselves on your mercy and to allow your Holy Spirit to strengthen us for the journey ahead. Amen. The Lord 